Would you believe I knocked him out with my charm? Michelle Rodriguez is an American film and television actress. She is surrounded by a halo of rebellion, and the heroines she plays are in many ways similar to Michelle herself. You will find out about her by watching our video. Michelle Rodriguez, How Hollywood's Bad Girl Lives Maite Michelle Rodriguez was born on July 12, 1978 in San Antonio, Texas. Her parents, her mother Carmen, a Dominican by nationality, and father Rafael, a Puerto Rican, met when Rafael was doing military service in the United States. Michelle has two older twin brothers, as well as eight half-brothers and sisters on her father's side. When the girl was eight years old, her parents divorced and her mother took her to the Dominican Republic. There Michelle learned Spanish and forgot all the English words she knew. Michelle was also raised by her grandmother. It was she who initiated the family's move back to the United States to Jersey City when her granddaughter was 11, 12 years old. Michelle Rodriguez's mother and grandmother belonged to the community of Jehovah's Witnesses and tried to introduce the girl to it. She went from house to house trying to convince people to change their faith. She had to knock on the doors of school friends as well, which sometimes led to quarrels. As she got older, the actress abandoned the teachings on which she was raised and began to study different religions. From early childhood, Michelle displayed an independent and stubborn character. She suffered from the attacks of her peers, so she especially zealously stood up for others in street fights. Living in a dysfunctional neighborhood made her very tomboy-like. The girl said that she did not want men to see her as an object of desire, so femininity was associated with weakness and pain for her. Rodriguez's favorite activity at that time was watching movies at a friend's house. The girl commented on what was happening and imagined how much better of a story she could come up with herself. Michelle was expelled from five schools, and at the age of 17, she dropped out of William Dickinson Public High School, but later got her GED and received a high school diploma. Then Rodriguez briefly attended business school, but left to start a career in cinema. Her ultimate goal was to write scripts and direct, but she decided that it was easier to become an actress for starters. Michelle went to conquer New York, began attending various auditions, acting in extras and small episodic roles, and in her spare time she went all out at noisy parties. One day Rodriguez saw an ad about a casting for a low-budget independent film, Girl Fight, and almost missed her chance. She was late for the audition, read the text haltingly, but still turned out to be the best among 350 applicants, and got the main role. This was filed by almost six months of training with a boxing coach to reliably get used to the role. The film was released in January 2000 and caused a wave of discussions, defining the role of Michelle Rodriguez, a fighting tomboy with a scowl. Did you stop when she said please? I can't Diana, remember. stop it! You belong to me now. The girl then had been dating a Muslim guy for some time, but in 2000, she broke off the engagement because of his demand to convert to Islam. Michelle didn't stay lonely for long because soon Vin Diesel appeared in her life. He saw a young actress in Girl Fight and realized that she would be perfect as his partner in the movie Fast and Furious, which was released worldwide in June 2001. Rodriguez got the role of Letty Ortiz, the main character's lover, who works as a mechanic and participates in street races. You want to ask, why don't you hit Hollywood Boulevard? You want an adrenaline rush? It'll be too large. Right here, right now. However, the actress herself did not even have a driver's license at that time. She took driving lessons for several months and finally got her license. Later, she was even able to perform some stunts herself. Michelle, despite her little experience in the film industry, had a clear idea of her heroine which contradicted the original script. According to the plot, Letty was supposed to have an affair with two characters at once, but Rodriguez flat out refused to play in the film unless the story was changed. Fortunately, in the end, the producers listened to her opinion and Rodriguez continued playing the role. On the set, a beautiful but short-lived affair began between Michelle and Vin Diesel. A few months later, they broke up, maintaining friendly relations. Also in 2001, the girl starred in the crime drama 3AM, and a year later, together with Mia Jovovich, she played in Resident Evil. She also starred in a sports drama about three friends and surfers, Blue Crush. I'm gonna be late. He's leaving in a few days with a tan. And what are you gonna be left with? A pair of shoes? 
And on the note of driving, before the Fast and Furious franchise, Rodriguez knew nothing about surfing and was terribly afraid to encounter a shark in the ocean. But still she was able to perform several stunts on her own. 18 years later in 2020, the actresses after having played the main roles in the film discussed the impact of the film on young women and the possibility of filming a sequel via video link. After the beginning of a successful film career, Michelle started having her first problems with the law. In March 2002, Rodriguez was arrested for assaulting a roommate, but the roommate refused to press charges. Michelle admitted that she often falls in love with movie partners. After Vin Diesel, she began a romantic relationship with Oliver Martinez, with whom she worked together on the action movie SWAT in 2003. The actor was dating singer Kylie Minogue back then, but the paparazzi often caught these colleagues together. A few years later, journalists caught Rodriguez together with Martinez again and reported about their rekindled relationship. Michelle was also rumored to have had a relationship with musician Lenny Kravitz and actor Colin Farrell. Also in 2003, the actress was caught in several traffic rules violations. First, she hit a motorcyclist and left the scene of the accident and then got behind the wheel while drunk and exceeded the speed limit. She was deprived of her driver's license, but the following year for a similar offense, Michelle spent 48 hours in custody and went to compulsory treatment and community service. In 2004, Rodriguez took part in the dubbing of several computer games, finished acting in the thriller Control, and immediately began working on the TV series Lost. Oh! Shut up! When I tell you to do something, you do it. I say move, you move. I say stop, you stop. I say jump, what do you say? You first. She played the role of a tough cop, Ana Lucia Cortez, at the end of the first and throughout the second season. Michelle was supposed to be involved in the third season, but during filming in Hawaii at the end of 2005, she was arrested again for drunk driving. She was sentenced to a $500 fine and five days in prison. Later, the actress still returned to the series. She can be seen in several scenes of seasons five and six. In 2006, Michelle served her prison sentence and for violating the probation period, she again went to rehabilitation and community service. At that time, the actress added several films to her filmography, including The Horror of the Breed, the anime IGPX, Immortal Grand Prix, where Michelle voiced one of the heroines, and the fantasy thriller Blood Rain, which was heavily criticized and collected as many as six nominations for the Golden Raspberry Awards. Rodriguez was nominated in the category Worst Supporting Actress. It was them or all of us. We sacrifice animals for survival. Brimstone is no different. I will kneel before no one, nor will I sit here under Vladimir's command and await death. In Blood Rain, Michelle starred together with actress and model Kristana Loken, who in an interview stated that she shared a connection with Rodriguez. As it turned out later, at that time they were dating but the relationship was not officially recognized. In 2007, Rodriguez starred in the action movie Battle in Seattle, and in December she went to prison again for buying alcohol during probation and refusing to perform community service. Due to overcrowding, she spent seven days out of 180 in prison. In 2008, the actress appeared in a cameo role in the drama Gardens of the Night, and in 2009, in addition to the fourth part of the Fast and Furious franchise, she starred in the high-budget science fiction film by James Cameron, Avatar. VFR from here on. What's VFR? Means you gotta see where you're going. Can't see anything. <laughs> exactly. Ain't that a bitch. In 2010, Rodriguez starred in the independent film Tropico de Sangre, based on real events in the Dominican Republic, as well as in the thriller Machete. That's not how we work. But if you want war, I'll give it to you. This was followed by roles in the films Battle, Los Angeles, Resident Evil, Retribution, Inappropriate Comedy, Machete Kills, the series College Humor Originals, and she did voice acting in the cartoon Turbo. In the same period, Fast and Furious 6 was released, in which, to the surprise of not only the audience, but also the actress herself, Letty Ortiz reappeared. You got a death wish or something? That's what it takes. I just want to race. Might lose your car. In this part of the franchise, Rodriguez participated in one of the most striking scenes, where she had to fight with MMA fighter Gina Carano on the London subway. The amount of Michelle's payment was $5 million. At that time, the actress was credited with a short-lived affair with the Italian dancing millionaire Gianluca Vacchi. In 2013, Michelle officially announced her bisexuality. 
as well as the fact that she intended to suspend her acting career to engage in writing. But these plans were not destined to come true. At the end of the year, she lost her close friend and colleague, Paul Walker, who died in a car accident. As Rodriguez later admitted, for a whole year after that, she looked more like an animal than a person. The situation was made even worse by drugs that the actress started to use. At some point, Michelle even began to envy Paul's death, the fact that he left first. At that time, the actress was dating model Cara Delevingne. For the first time, the fans saw them together in 2014 at a basketball game. And then the girls went on vacation to Mexico together. The affair lasted four months and according to rumors, mutual jealousy and frequent separations became the reason for the breakup. Soon Rodriguez began a relationship with actor Zac Efron, but a few months later their relationship, as reported in the media, ended with a loud quarrel in one of the clubs of Ibiza. At the same time, rumors about Michelle's affair with Robert Pattinson appeared in the press, but except for one party, they were not seen together. The actress returned to the big screen in 2015 in the next part of the racing franchise, Furious 7, and in the short film Fast and Furious Supercharged. At the same time, she took part in the filming of a music video for the song Confident by Demi Lovato. She had previously starred in a music video with Ja Rule and Ashanti, then later with Drake. The following year, Michelle Rodriguez played the main role in the action movie The Assignment, taking on the role of a male assassin who falls into the hands of a crazed surgeon and becomes a woman. Usually takes six months to a year to develop sensation again. Look, I just want to know if I can go back to being a guy. In the following years, the actress took part in voice acting in the cartoon Smurfs, The Lost Village, played the role of Gelda in the fantasy action movie Alita, Battle Angel, starred in the film Widows, where she became one of the participants in a robbery. If this whole thing goes wrong, I just want my kids to know that I didn't sit there and take it. I did something. As Rodriguez admits, it was this role that helped her understand and accept many of her mother's actions. The Fate of the Furious was also released, and according to the actress, the filming was accompanied by incessant laughter thanks to the actors Jason Statham and Dwayne Johnson, who entertained the entire crew with jokes and witty banter. I don't know why you're doing this, but I know one thing. You love me. But after the premiere, she expressed dissatisfaction with the fact that the film demonstrates insufficient respect for female heroines. The actress threatened that if this does not change in the next parts, she will leave the franchise. In 2018, it became known about Rodriguez's new lover, model Jordan Barry. The couple did not comment on their relationship, but the media got pictures of the lovers on vacation. At the same time, Michelle does not think about long-term relationships, and especially children. At one time, she appeared in public with an engagement ring on her finger, which according to her, reminded her of the suffering to which she would never condemn herself again because of love. In 2020, Rodriguez got a minor role in the thriller She Dies Tomorrow, and in 2021, the actress starred in the crime thriller Crisis, but this picture received negative reviews from viewers. On May 19th, F9 was released, in which Michelle still managed to ensure that the screenwriters paid more attention to women. You came to me, lady. None of it is worth a thing if I lose you. Do you hear me? Now Michelle Rodriguez is working on an adventure fantasy film, Dungeon of Dragons, which is scheduled to premiere in March 2023. In the first stills from the movie, you can see the actress with battle scars and on a dragon boat. She will be accompanied by Chris Pine, Hugh Grant, and Justice Smith. Rodriguez still intends to try her hand at screenwriting and mentioned she was working on several projects at once, including a family adventure film, a drama about drugs, and a historical play aimed at women. The actress has repeatedly stated that she wants there to be more diversity of female characters in the cinema, and the movement in this direction in Hollywood in recent years only confirms that the world has ceased to be exclusively male. Over the years, Michelle has become calmer, and in an interview she shares that she has learned to manage the crazy aspects of her personality that controlled her youth. She is known for exhilarating hobbies. Rodriguez is fond of shooting, skydiving, and DJing. Her fortune is estimated at 25 to 30 million dollars, but Michelle herself estimates her income modestly. For example, speaking about her favorite car, Porsche 918 Spider, 
She said that she could not afford it, it was too expensive. In her everyday life, Michelle Rodriguez drives a Toyota Prius so as not to attract a lot of attention to herself. She also bought a Tesla Model S electric car but immediately gave it to her brother as she did not like to waste time charging batteries before driving. The actress lives in Los Angeles in the Venice area where she moved in 2015. The two-story house, decorated in a modern California style, has two bedrooms as well as an enclosed courtyard. Once in an interview, Michelle Rodriguez said, screenwriters don't know what to do with me. That's why her strong and independent heroines often die. It would be interesting to see what kind of fate the actress herself sees for such characters. Would you watch films based on her scripts? If you liked the video, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.